Hello friends, in our previous lesson, we studied the basic duty of fixed resistors in the circuit. We have seen how these resistors are used in the circuit through Ohm's law. We mentioned that we will study the resistors in three groups. In this lesson, we will study the variable resistors. Variable resistors are of three types. These are potentiometers, crimpets, and rheostats. Let's analyze their structure and how they are used in the circuit. There are two types of circuit symbols used for variable resistors. It is possible to see the use of both of these symbols. There is an arrow indicating that the fixed resistor symbol can be adjusted. We can start with the potentiometer. Potentiometers have three pins. The maximum resistance value is written on it and the resistance value can be adjusted manually by this shaft. For example, 10 kilo ohm is seen on the potentiometer you see here. This potentiometer can be used by adjusting it to a desired resistance value between approximately 0 ohm and the maximum 10 kilo ohm. So, how do we adjust it? Let's have a look. As seen here, we see the maximum value when we measure the resistance value from the two pins of the potentiometer. This value is always constant and as seen from the multimeter, it will show the maximum value of 10 kilo ohms written on the potentiometer. Of course, there may be a positive and negative tolerance value. Now, if we measure from the two pins on the right edge, we change the resistance value and C values between 10 kilo ohms and the 0 ohm. In this way, we can adjust the potentiometer to the desired resistance value. Similarly, this time, if we measure from the two pins on the left edge, we can change the resistance value and C values between 0 ohm and 10 kilo ohms again. So, if we are going to use the potentiometer as a variable resistor, we use the middle pin in common and we can adjust it to the desired resistance value by using one of the pins on the right or left. Now we can look at how potentiometer is basically used on a circuit. Here the potentiometer is connected to a lamp with a power source. We can see that the lamp is very bright. This means that the resistance value of the potentiometer is low and the more current flows through circuit. If we increase the resistance value of the potentiometer, the brightness of the lamp will decrease as the current flows through the circuit will decrease. In fact, if we increase the resistance value of the potentiometer even more, very low current will flow through the circuit and the brightness of the lamp will decrease. Perhaps the current will not flow through the circuit and the lamp will not light up. For example, if we connect a DC motor with a potentiometer to a power source like here, we can change the current flowing through the circuit by changing the value of the potentiometer. So we can adjust the speed of the motor. The other of the variable resistors is trimpet. It's also called preset. The trimpet also has three pins. The working principle of the trimpet is same with the potentiometer. What is the difference then? Trimpet is normally adjusted by using a screwdriver. When we adjust the value, it remains at that value. It is preferred to use in the circuits where we don't need to change too much resistance value. For example, here we see that there are trimpets on the sensors used with the Arduino microcontroller. We adjust the resistance value of the trimpet with the help of a screwdriver to reach the precision value we need and it remains at the value we adjust. Then we don't often change the trimpet adjustment. Another element used as variable resistors are rheostats. The most important feature of this type of variable resistor that differs from the trimpets and the potentiometers is that it can be used in high power circuits. Therefore, high current may flow through it. The maximum resistance value of rheostats is low values such as 50 ohms, 
100 ohms and 200 ohms and etc. Since the resistance value is low, high currents flow through it. Therefore, they are overheated. The reason they are so thick is to spread this heat out. Resistance adjustment is made by manually moving the slide on it. By moving the adjusted part, the resistance with the desired value is obtained. Also, the size of rheostats is quite large compared to trumpets and the potentiometers. Up to now, we have studied the types of variable resistors and their basic usage principles. I hope it was useful for you and you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in our next lesson. So, goodbye. Thank you.